So there's availability questions and there's talent questions, I think, that they have to weigh. Second hour, KJ and Don Darrow on WEEI, 617-779-7937, text line 3793.7. That's Tom E. Curran on Gresh and Fourier earlier this week mentioning the players or the positions that will be looking at cut down. And, Mark, here are the names that have been released today. Tight end Scotty Washington, safety Brad Hawkins, uh, running back C.J. Marable, um, cornerback Rodney Randall, uh, linebacker Diego Fajot, uh, offensive lineman Micah Vanterpool, tight end Johnny Lumpkin, defensive tackle Justice Tavai. And an acquisition was made, a trade. Pierre Strong for Ty Wheatley Jr. Did that name ring a bell when you first heard Ty Wheatley Jr., Mark? The Raiders, yes. Right, because... Because I'm an old bleep, yes. Right, well, not, you could be a knowledgeable bleep. Yeah. You don't have to be old, but yes, Ty Wheatley was a running back in the league and uh, had a successful career, so I go to look up Ty Wheatley Jr., and I keep hitting refresh and refresh, and I'm realizing, Mark, he hasn't played any games. You know, this is a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, when I walked into the studio um, for the Red Sox pregame show, Fitzy wanted my take. And and to be honest with you, it must have happened while I was in transit walking. I I don't know why I missed it. Because I texted at the same time when you were at the stadium. Yeah, it literally must have been while I was walking from the garage I parked into the studio, this news broke. So he he says, there's a trade. So I'm like, okay, (laughs) whatever, okay. Like, what's the trade? And I'm thinking, I got these big names. I mean, this is all within a few seconds. These big right. names running through my mind. Here we go. Let's go. Bill. Tyrone Wheatley Jr. And I'm like, the the the. I, I didn't know what to think. <clears throat> I had never heard of this player. He had never played. He's a lineman. They trade Pierre Strong. Right. I'm like, am I supposed to be? And he's like, what's your take? And I try, and I offer to take, but I'm like, this is not, what am I supposed to think? Is this a game changer? There is nothing you can offer up as an opinion because he's never been seen in an NFL game. May of 2022, he was waived by the Bears. May 16th, he was signed by the Raiders. August 17th of 2022, he was uh, waived by the Raiders. September 20th of 2022, the Browns signed him to the practice squad. January 9th. The Browns signed him to the Reserves Futures contract. I I don't know if you remember what was going on January 9th for the Cleveland Browns. No game! The season was over! (laughs) They they need offensive line help. It was a body signing. They they need offensive line help. You know, if if I have a wrench and I need a hammer, I'd rather have a broken, beat up hammer than a (laughs) functional wrench. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, because you can bang it, right. At least you have the hammer. It might be a, a crappy hammer, but at least right. it's a hammer. I can't right. do anything with a wrench, it on even if it's a functional not, wrench. Right. So, hey, a- 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 give me another offensive lineman. Maybe he was overlooked. Maybe you he finds a little rhythm here, or Adrian Clem can coach him up or something, and they can find a way to get him into a position where he can contribute and be productive. I, I just don't know if... You know, we're talking about, I mean, we're making this out to be, we're talking about it like it's going to lead the show and it's a big deal. This is a nothing signing, a nothing trade for now. But that's what's shocking to me because here you are, Belichick, who has greater control than any NFL coach in the league because you decide your personnel. And and then you've said this before when we've done shows in the past, is like, where is the plan? Where's the preparation? If you know that the offensive line was bad last year, why did you not make even further efforts besides Reef, right? Why didn't you make better efforts to shore up the offensive line if you know you're not going to spend for a top-end wide receiver one or wide receiver one who's declining in, in Hopkins? The Zeke Elliott move that makes sense, that fits your DNA because it's a run-first offense. That's what Bill is going to want to do and rely on the defense. Oh. But, the, but even go back to the draft. I know you hate that. You remember when they swapped places with Pittsburgh? And what did Pittsburgh take? An offensive lineman. <laughs> so you're almost asking, you couldn't take an offensive lineman there if Pittsburgh ready was ready to jump up in front of? Now some people believe it was you know to kind of throw the Jets off because it's what the Jets needed. But guess what? You need it too. 